Alien contact is a subject we have approached a few times here on the channel. The popular image of a grey alien with its small body, large head and almond eyes is ingrained in pop culture. There are however many different types of alien that we are said to have contacted, 57 at the last count. From the tall blonde Nordics to the tall scaly humanoids known as reptoids or reptilians and more. But what if this list is wrong? What if aliens are not biological entities? What if they are instead a machine intelligence? Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. My name is Optimus Prime. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. The idea of an alien AI and the theory that aliens would most likely be a machine based intelligence has been floating around the ufology community for some time. In an article published in Popular Science, linked below, we can once again see that the thought of aliens being robotic in nature does in fact make a lot of sense or just as much as them being flesh and blood creatures. The article says that scientists and astronomers working at SETE, the search for extraterrestrial life, have for years been focusing on the same old parameters to find life in the universe, using the same old methods for way too long, hunting for humdrum planets around humdrum stars, the hope of picking up a radio signal or some other form of signal being their entire focus. The wow signal aside, this method has proved fruitless. Is it time to change their methods? SETI casts a wide net in its search and focuses on the precursors we think are needed for life to flourish. But if ET was an MBE, an non-biological entity, this idea could be a waste of time. If we are searching for a machine intelligence, we may have to change our target. So what should we be looking for? To answer that, we must first go back and reevaluate if the search for radio waves makes any sense. We are making the assumption that biological life on another planet would follow the similar technological steps and development as us. That is a pretty big assumption. Technology, specifically artificial intelligence, is gaining momentum here on Earth. Seth Shostak, senior scientist at the SETI Institute, says it seems to him that it is a hard arc to avoid. He went on to say there is currently an AI revolution and we see artificial intelligence getting smarter and smarter day by day. Susan Schneider, professor of cognitive science and philosophy wrote about the intersection of SETI and AI. Her comments suggest that something similar may be going on at other points in the universe. On this planet we don't have to worry about machine takeover just yet. The days of Skynet are 20 or more years away according to her analysis. 20 years is such a short time frame if a civilization in the stars is a mere 100 years ahead of us in the field of AI, then the difference in our societies and technologies would be night and day. So why haven't we heard from AI alien civilizations yet? Most of us with an interest in this subject know of the Fermi paradox and this can offer us a solution, the great filter. The great filter is the concept that advancing technologies create just as many problems as they are created to solve. The threats from the ever more advanced tech reaching a point when they become a source for the destruction of the civilizations which made them. In lay terms they create their own demise. Societies that manage to make their way through this filter could find themselves merging with the machines they have created. This creating a new species and another leap forward on the path of technological evolution. This could see them surpass the limitations of a biological body and mind, eventually becoming a fully synthetic intelligence. 
These alien societies would possibly advance through different transitional periods, first being fully biological, then cybernetic, and finally sentient robots. Autobots, transform and roll out. Being machines opens up the universe for exploration. The restraints that were once imposed upon the biological bodies now gone. They no longer need a protective and cumbersome ship to traverse the stars. They could become the ship, shifting their consciousness between vehicles and mechanical avatars. Shostak supports this idea. He said, planets are volatile, prone to eruptions and earthquakes, and the effects of an aging star. Machines aren't necessarily going to stay on a planet. Planets are dangerous for machines. As these robotic aliens expand through the universe, it would seem that contact would become easier. But maybe the problem is not us finding them, but them finding us. Our cosmic footprint may be small when compared to an advanced civilization. It could be that those that are out there don't even know we're here. This could mean that if contact is made, it would most likely be from a passive rather than an active act of communication. Even then, we won't necessarily know if the society we're detecting is made up of organic or synthetic life. If machines do make contact, could we distinguish between the alien technology and its advanced artificial intelligence and a sentient biological alien? Given the huge distances of space, it is more likely that a robot would be sent our way. After all, this is what we've done with the probes Pioneer 10 and 11, Voyagers 1 and 2 and New Horizons. Do you think we have already had alien contact? Were those aliens NBEs or AI? Could many of the UFO sightings actually be intelligent alien probes? We do know aliens enjoy a good probing. If we consider our own space exploration, we are going to send ever more autonomous machines into orbit, replacing men and women who travel into space. This trend is only going to continue and as AI becomes more powerful and developments in robotics creates ever more adaptive and useful designs, we could be that alien species, the alien robots whom make first contact through a machine on an alien world. Will the alien life we have talked about be the first to use its drones and robots programmed with advanced AI to initiate first contact? Or maybe we or them already have? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching we are if. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.